It's got a socket on, just like in the wall, except with brown coat. <laughs> you plug it in. Boom. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You go boom, not funny, you know. I'm holding it, boom in my hand. Yeah, let's let's get it up then. Is that cool or is that cool, man? And oh, you okay? You need big strong pockets, but it's pocket size for your big strong pockets. <laughs> What's happening? I've got a big battery here. The motorbike battery. And this, yeah, it's, it's, it's changing electricity. Because electricity in here has got high voltage, like high pressure. Here, very low, it's only 12 volts. Also, the battery is giving one way. Electricity. This one, it's going backwards and forwards. So I've got something here, four things which are called transistors, which are like playing very fast tennis. And they're pushing electricity backwards and forwards, 50 times a second. Well, you can put the battery. Yeah. Well, the battery itself, if I put the battery, if I put this straight across the battery, and try, you know, it just won't work. No way. It's the wrong kind of electricity. So what's happening is, this thing here, the very little circuit here with the transformer, is converting one kind of electricity into another kind of electricity. This is called DC, direct current, low voltage. This one is AC, high voltage. And by the way, we don't play with that. I can tell you actually a little story about when I was a kid. Um, okay, so turn it off. I. I lived in a house, it was quite an old house, and in, in the old house we had these sockets, but also in my bedroom we had the two pin sockets, kind of old fashioned. And I was about, um, I think it was about 11 years old, and I started it's playing with electricity already. Hmm? Oh, you're 11, are you? Well, I was your age. Okay, yeah. now you can really imagine. <laughs> So I'd already started playing with electricity and, and doing light bulbs and, um, and batteries and I made little cardboard box theatres, you know, cover with the stage and scenery. The shows were terrible, but the lighting was great. You know, I could do all the coloured lighting and push the actors in from the side and all that stuff, you see. So anyway, I knew that the light bulb has got a little wire inside and it glows very, very bright, like this light bulb here. So it, it makes light. Because okay. electricity is pushing through against the resistance. And because it's hard work, it gets very, very hot. And the light lights up. So I thought I would make my own light bulb. So I took a piece of wire and I cut around the side and pulled it part and just had one very thin wire inside. I was really stupid. I took the two ends of the wire and I put them, one wire into one of the holes in the socket. Oh my God. I put the other one. Bang! Oh my God. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Bright light and this kind of flame was going around the floor and then it went out. Are you? <laughs> yes. yes! And I was going, <laughs> 11 years old, just like you. Uh. The lights went out, and my mum shouted me down and says, Jolien, what are you doing up there? <laughs> I never, ever did that again. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't stop me doing electronics. It kind of made me interested, but my goodness, that was... And when I think back now, I could have killed myself so easily. I was being careful, I was holding the plastic, but please, never do that. But luckily, with these sockets here, these are stupid 11 year old proof, okay? So if I had that kind of socket in my, in my bedroom, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Mind you, I probably would have found a way. <laughs> so we don't do that, right? So now you don't have to experiment on that because I told you now. And it was like, oh my goodness. So here we go. 
And this one, even now, I'm not older and I know so much about electronics and things like that. Can you mind explaining what the transistor thing is, how it is here? Oh, yeah. Oh, that little. Fantastic. Right, I've got another way to show you about how transistors work. So you're learning about transistors already? No, they don't, but it was an interesting concept. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. All right, let's just find one of my Right, I want you to hold her hand. I want you to hold, on your only link hand. Let's see if you can turn the mic. Okay, I'm waiting. Oh. Da -da -da. Come on. Hold hands. No. Hold hands. 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 Who oh, hold hand? hand. Oh, 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 so it's okay. Can oh, can, can hold hand, please? Brother, come on. Hey, hey, pass out. What do It's a holding hands detector. So what happens is when you actually let's just try and get it to happen, okay? Can everyone please hold hands? Okay, can everyone please hold hands? Right, please. Chicky, pretty please. Here we go. Over here, come. Hi there, come on. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Okay. Yeah, they're all experimenting. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Fantastic. Actually, what you can do, just hold hands. I'm about to show you. Okay. Fires together, and the light turns on. Wow, it's that deal, yeah. But, Let's have a let's have a volunteer. Yeah, you're green. Me, me, Santa. Hold this. Now you're from Singapore, right? I'm from where do you know? Where am I from? I'm French, am I? American. England. Yes, that's right. People say, uh, people asked me yesterday, do you come from the United States? I said, I come from the United States of Kingdom. Okay, okay. Not Manchester, London. I come from London, yeah? Now, I come from London, and you might notice that where I come from, we've got big noses. Right? But my nose is nothing special. But do you know your nose is very special? Yeah, look, 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 see? Touch your nose, the light comes on. I touch my nose, I punch my nose, I really hold my nose. The light doesn't turn on, but I told him, hold his nose, the light's coming. <laughs> I want to know, why is it that you got some because, special because, nose? Because he, he, he's, he's holding it. He's holding it. I mean, you can, you can touch my nose, then, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow! Hey, I feel better. My nose works as well. There you go. Thank you. So, I have to ask you, all right, sit down now, relax. Oh. I have to ask you, the Ministry of Education rules state that as I've just been passing electricity through all of you, if anyone just died just now, can you please put your hand up? Okay, so there's two ghosts, three, four ghosts. Okay. One thing. If you just died just now, because I've been passing electricity through you, okay, um, uh, put your hand up. Oh, you just died, did you? Okay, so you've got, you got five or six ghosts. It's, a, it's among the hungry ghosts. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, all right. Was your hair always like that? <laughs> Well, his hair is sticking up as well. Yeah. Actually, did you feel anything just now? Electric shock. Did you feel tingling or bars or anything like that? Did you? That's because you didn't have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. I got. You got really? Oh, I'm getting worried now. Actually, I'm fine. I don't feel a thing. You know why? Because the electricity is so tiny, 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 absolutely tiny. So you just can't believe it. I'm mean, talking about one millionth of an amp. An amp is one measure of current. Okay? The radio here is taking from the radio, uh, from here probably about 0.1 of an amp, it's probably a tenth of an amp. But this is taking about one millionth of an amp. 
And we don't feel it. We can't do it. But I'll tell you something. If we had all the current, all that electric current that these LEDs are taking going through us, they'll probably kill us instantly, just like that. Why? Because it's a lot of current. If we have 20 thousandths of an amp going through us, it can give us a nasty shock. If it's a hundred thousandths of an amp, point one of an amp, yeah. a tenth of an amp, yeah, then it could kill you, stop your heart, okay? So, of course, the only way you can get that much current going through you, there's something you're all interested to see, right? Yes, yes, yes. And what happens next, yeah? But if you have that much going through you, the only way to get that much current to go through you is to have a lot of voltage. So that's why we don't put our fingers in the socket, okay? Because that will kill you, it will push you and it hurts very bad. But the reason why this doesn't, you don't feel this, is because I'm using something inside called a transistor. Now, I don't think you can see it without. Well, okay, the transistor looks like these quite big ones. These things here. These are big transistors. It's got three legs. Tiga kaki, yes. Three legs. There's like a, the actual transistor inside is tiny, like a speck of salt, but it's got a big package and it's got a metal plate here because it can get warm when it's working. Okay, there's the transistors here. Um, no, it shouldn't do. I'll try. Uh, yeah, no, because this is 12 volts AC. The other side of the transformer, no, I'm not going to show you. Oh, yeah. The transformer is making the bolt, the tall ones they see, 20 times bigger. And I would get a nasty shock if I put my fingers in there. I don't. Ah, <laughs> very clever. No, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I don't get a shock. Yeah? But this one here, this one here, I don't get a shock. All right, but because this is only 12 volts, here is about 230 volts. Oh, the transformer is the transformer is yeah. And what's interesting, interesting is I'm using this backwards. Normally, this transformer is used for like the lights in shops to make the high voltage go low. But what I'm doing is I'm doing it backwards. I'm putting the low voltage in and making it high. Ah. And these transistors here are switching on and off. Now, there are three legs, tiga kaki, as he said, right? I see. Yes. Two of the legs are like a normal switch. You switch on and off. But the third leg in the middle, all right, to one side of this one, is control. It's the one where you put a little bit of electricity in that leg, a little bit, and it will turn off. And if you take away, it turns off. It's a bit like a toilet. Yeah, a bit like a toilet. Oh, yeah, trust me. Yeah, trust me, look, I'm okay. No, I'll hold the other one, it's okay. I'm okay, I think. Ready? Oh! Yeah! They didn't jump. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Wow, okay, go on then. All, all of you again. Wow. It's the same as this. And this is the thing I want to show you. You sit down now. The thing I want to show you is that you only have to learn something once and you can use it for lots of other things. See? So, what's inside here? I put a transistor in here, one of those things I just showed you, yeah? In here to turn on the light. But you don't just have to turn on lights. You can turn on a motor for the car. Now watch this. Why have I done this? This is a very cheap, cheap car from um, Mustafa. Mustafa. Well, Mustafa, yeah? Cost about ten dollars, yeah. Ten dollars. Yeah, it was a radio control car, but I've taken out the radio control. I've used it for something else. But I then modified it. I put a transistor inside it. This is why it's cool to do electronics. I do electronics as a hobby because I like to make things different. I've got lots of things to show you. Watch this. 
I'm going to take some Play-Doh. Oh, Play-Doh. Do you know about Play-Doh? Yeah, I can play Do you like Play-Doh? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm going to make a big sausage. Why not? Okay, put it on the floor. Yeah, just put it. What am I doing? I like uh, the dog. It is, it is, yeah, it's like, it's like playing. But the poo is purple. Yeah, it's from a purple poodle. It's purple poodle and purple poodle. Alright, that's enough to start with. This is actually this is something I've invented for a uh, secondary school challenge. We get lots of kids coming from secondary schools to the poly to learn stuff and take tests and whatever. And what we're doing is, well, what I've got to do is keep the people who are waiting for their turn happy. So what I do, this job probably is one of these, and what I do is I just do this. I hope it's going to be okay. Let's see what happens. I get to do this. Okay. I need more food. Close. 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 So what I'm doing is I'm using glutat, uh, not glutat, uh, Play-Doh, <laughs> which has got a special property. What do you think the property is? What can it do? Just now, I had five of you holding hands and making this work. I'm saying to you that five of you is the same as a bit of purple poo. Okay? <laughs> So, what I'm trying to do is to make a track which hopefully will work. It's got to clean this a little bit. That's probably why it's not working. Okay. Yeah. 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 Once it's right, it's nice. Okay, I've got to get my touch wires right. One down a bit. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, whatever it is, the exercise, <laughs> the exercise is, if I can get it to go straight, is it should be able to just jump a little bit. I can, but it is, and then I need more food, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, the challenge to the schools, each group, I say I give you one pot of Play-Doh, I want the car to travel the furthest distance. If you 